suppose you're given one trig function of theta and you're told where theta is. Let's find the exact value of the five remaining trig functions. For example, let's say that the sine of theta is 12 over 13. Now this could happen in two quadrants because sine is positive in the first and the second. So you need to be told where this is. So I'm going to tell you that theta is in quadrant two. So I'm going to draw this angle in quadrant two and then extend that down back to the x-axis so it forms a right triangle. So using my right triangle trigonometry, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite is going to be 12, hypotenuse is going to be 13, so I have a missing side, so let me call that x. So to figure out what x is, use Pythagorean theorem. So x squared plus 12 squared is 13 squared. So x squared plus 144 is 169, x squared is then 25. Now take a look at where x is. x is in the second quadrant, so that means that x is negative. So x is actually going to be negative square to 25, which is 5. So using this right triangle, now we can find the other five trig functions of theta. I already know sine. So then the cosine of theta adjacent over hypotenuse, so negative 5 over 13. Tangent of theta, opposite over adjacent. Cotangent of theta, the reciprocal of tangent. Secant of theta, the reciprocal of cosine. And then cosecant of theta, the reciprocal of the given function sine. Okay, so again, once you know where the angle is, draw the triangle in that quadrant. So let's look at another one. Let's say that the tangent of theta is 3, which could happen in two quadrants, because tangent is positive in quadrants 1 and 3. So let me tell you that theta is in quadrant 3. Okay, so I'm going to draw my triangle in quadrant 3. Extend that back to the x-axis to make a right triangle. Okay, so tangent is opposite over adjacent, so the opposite is going to be 3, the adjacent is going to be 1, but take a look at where you are. Because you're in the third quadrant, x and y are both negative. So then this missing side, let me call it x. So negative 1 squared plus negative 3 squared is x squared. So 1 plus 9 is our x squared. So that means that x is positive because it's the hypotenuse square root of 10. Okay, so now that we have the triangle and all the sides, we can find all the other trig functions of theta. So then the sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse, so negative 3 over square root of 10. Cosine of the angle adjacent over hypotenuse. just rationalizing. Tangent was given, so then the cotangent of theta, the reciprocal of tangent. Okay, secant of theta, the reciprocal of cosine. I always go back to before I rationalized it, so it's a little bit easier. And then the cosecant of theta, the reciprocal of sine. And there's all six trig functions of theta.